Welcome to the Sons of Mjolnir podcast. The Sons of... What? This isn't your Sons of Macaroni, yeah! The Sons of Mjol... Mjolnir? This is the Sons of Mjolnir, yeah, yeah, yeah! What's up, everyone? We're the Sons of Mjolnir. I'm Gorgon. I'm Fat Thor. And today we are talking about Spider-Man 2, which I'm sure y'all all kind of knew that we would end up talking about because we're huge Spider-Man fans. Obviously, I am the massive Symbiote fan who has infected all of my co-hosts into loving Symbiote. So this was one that we all had to play. I actually upgraded my console just for buying this game. I got the, the Spider-Man PS5 edition. After uh, just for this game. with Wes, which we got to talk about your whole story about so your it's, game it's, it's PS5. been the most complicated <laughs> purchase of the game and, and console I've ever bought. I purchased the console at GameStop. I get home, I'm setting it up. There is no code for the game like it's supposed to come with, right? Mm -hmm. So I call up to GameStop because back in the day they just had extra codes. They don't anymore because they no longer own their consoles. Sony PlayStation owns the consoles and puts the packages together. So they don't have anyone they can call. So the lady up there's super nice. She's calling one. I'm calling the other. She's calling, I think I'm calling PlayStation support. She's calling Sony support. PlayStation support tells me to call Sony support. Sony support tells me to call PlayStation support. So there's like nothing they can do. Great. Whatever. <laughs> I'm defeated. She eventually says, hey, so I got two options, okay? I don't have any to swap this out for you. She got the last one. She says, I can call a different GameStop who has one, see if they'd be willing to let you return and trade it out for a new one just to get it, which there was, and they did, which is frustrating. GameStop, if you're listening to this, one, you shouldn't have to do that, okay? Two, that console, just because it was missing a piece of paper with the game code, is going to go to scraps, it's going to go to their defective list of products or will be torn apart for parts. That is a limited edition console. It shouldn't have to. There should be a way to get better codes for that. I digress. Get home. <laughs> this one has a code. Doesn't work. Because like when you're scratching off the stuff on it, the silver off the back of it for, it mm -hmm. literally peeled off over half of the code. So I call Sony again, and they say call PlayStation again. So I get on PlayStation support. On the phone with PlayStation support, they're like, yeah, we can't actually do anything about this. What you can do is you can make a digital ticket, send us in photos, all this stuff that I do for them. They said, well, we can put you on expedited, but expedited puts you means in priority that you might get attention within the next 48 hours. Might. That, that is expedited priority issue, right? Okay, and the game's about to come out in the middle of this. I'm like, what the fuck, right? <laughs> I spent over nine hours on hold in a day and a half just to find out I had to send in an email with it and the word they might not be able to help me but they might and I might at priority get help back within 48 hours complicated as hell finally got a working code for the game got to play the game but it was the worst experience I've ever got in trying to get a game in in a bundle in my life I yeah Sony PlayStation absolutely dropped the ball with this bundle uh. That's just absolutely ridiculous. And I remember you were texting me when that was all going down. And I was just like, I get, I get the problem. And I understand like GameStop's, you know, kind of like their policy or whatever. But it's yeah, like at the end no of the day, just, I know, I, I know they do, but it's just like, dude, come on. I bought, I just bought the fucking console. Like, just give me a code. Or at least, I don't know. In my mind, it was like, why couldn't they just be like okay well when the game comes out physically come back and you can get a physical copy or whatever you know what i mean I it's like i don't that, understand I why that, that is yeah. i know but it's like why like common sense yeah. rule right it's like i get your policy but like let's just use common sense here and yep. stop all this fucking madness but i'm yep. glad that you finally were able to get on the game and you yep. were able to play i know it took a while i remember i was already like halfway through and you're like i finally got on <laughs> So, like I said, I'm I just beat glad. you, yeah, you right? Because I, I, I got the slacked. flu right as the game came out. I perfect timing. Oh my god! So I stay at home and I'm like sick, bundled up like this in my gaming chair, blanket perfect. around me, like wad of tissues hanging from my nose, playing Spider Man like a couch gremlin. And I I hundred percented the game and got two achievements away from platinum by the time I finished it for the first time. Yeah, 
Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, and I'm I'm sitting here texting you, and you're like, I'm not done yet. And I'm like, oh my yeah, god, I slacked. Hurry the fuck. Up. I know. I took my time, and it was one of those things. I honestly, towards the end, I rushed. Not rushed, but like I purposely was like, okay, I need to start doing these story missions again because everyone's talking about it on Twitter and it's getting spoiled for me. So I'm like, okay, I need to finish this now because it's going to yeah. get spoiled for me if I don't. So like okay. I said, I was trying to take so my time and just like have fun this. with it. Okay. Overall thoughts, just a simple thumbs up, thumbs down on a couple of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it, and then this is me and you here. Okay. Ready? Okay. Is it a good Spider-Man game? Okay. Is it a good adaptation of the source material? Okay, we're on the same page. We're on Great. the same page. Fantastic. And I want to talk about that. Is it that. a good video game? It. Is it oh, a good video game? Of course. Perfect. Cool. So we're on the same I'm page. Can I do two? <laughs> well, so, so that's what I want to talk about. So, can't see us. So we, we were saying it is a good Spider-Man game. Oh, yeah. It is a bad adaptation of the source material, but it is a very good video game. That 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 is our verdict on that. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I I always forget that we have people that are not watching the video and are just listening. I I love all you just listeners and not watchers. You I guys remember are, you. This listening. is important. Gorgon remembers you, and I remember <laughs> you. We love you. But I want it so so to preface this conversation, we're gonna get in, uh, deep and nerdy with all of the Spider Man stuff. And I know we've talked about this already. You know when we were playing the game, and I know Gorgon, you have some very particular thoughts in in response to the Venom storyline and the overall usage of symbiotes in general, right? And we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, I want to put that to the side for a second. And so we just did our thumbs up, thumbs down game, and we both agreed that it's a great game and it's a great okay. Spider-Man game. So again, putting aside the Venom stuff, I want just your overall thoughts of this game and not only this game but as it pertains to being a sequel from the first game from the 2018 version of the game and see i feel if it's more it, it is but it's also a sequel to the miles morales game right because there's yeah. a lot from the miles morales game that i feel like is necessary to understand this one particularly if you're like me and you're a completionist and you want to do all the side quests and everything else there's a side quest you will not understand unless you do the miles morales one a couple of them actually mm -hmm. Um, one one of my favorites is uh, is is the old man with the birds um, and the oh, pigeon. I just and, did and that yesterday. It was so. Um, good. I told you I was texting you and telling you this will make you cry because I know you just did the Miles Morales one before, where you have him with the pigeons, right? That you have to track down, and and you're helping move them somewhere else, and and so that he can die. And I I I was flying. He said something on the dock, and I was like. Sounds like he might be dying. And I was like, mm -hmm. he also was just a weird old man, whatever. <laughs> and I'm partway flying, listening to him talk to you on, on the headpiece, right? And and as you do, and the music in the background, and it hits me, oh, he's going to die. And I was like, there's no way. So I race to get these birds to their new place so I can sit back to where he is, only for him to be dot dead. And and they're loading Already them up dead. into the ambulance. And, and I played as Miles, right, for this mission, so it hit extra hard, right? Mm -hmm. And and they're saying they're like, and it's like, no, I, I was a friend. And I'm just sitting there in my game just weeping, right? I'm sick with the flu. I already can't breathe, and I'm just crying, <laughs> right? I cannot breathe at all, the fucking disaster over this mission. I, but it, it I enjoyed the game a lot for... I enjoyed the swinging, the mo the the movement of the game. I, I feel like they've gotten better at making it smoother, right? It's always been pretty good, but they continue to make it smoother. Mm -hmm. The action is still fantastic. They find different ways to bring in the gadgets or challenge you to use the gadgets more or your combos more with each game, right? And, mm -hmm. and I do appreciate that um for it i think they got better at, at they've gotten better at their cut scenes i feel like with each game in in the way you interact with them and and making sure you're not interacting at certain moments in some of them to make sure you get truly engrossed in the story and what they're telling you and i appreciate that um yeah it it was a good game i i i liked this take on craven i oh, i know a lot dude. of craven people didn't but what? I really like this. How? Yeah, a lot of Craven fans did not. I, what? Yeah. This, I, yeah. So, it's, uh, I mean, I wanted to talk about this later, but let's just get into it right now with Craven. So I thought, and I'm going to preface this too, I am not by any means a Craven expert. 
I collected Spider-Man mostly as a kid. So I've read a lot of Spider-Man and like I've read, you know, Craven's Last Hunt. I read plenty of stories with Craven in it. But I, again, wouldn't consider myself like an expert on the character by any means. But this interpretation for me was like, oh, shit, like this is this is the Craven. Like and not only the Craven, but at least for me, it was like this is now the interpretation that all other interpretations have to meet at least for me so like and like i'll preface it with like uh jason momoa aquaman right it's like when he got cast as which i mean not i'm not saying like this is how it is but like when he got cast as aquaman right it's like in the comics he was like a lot more badass a lot more jason momoa like or even uh peter quill uh what's it called Chris Pratt Peter Quill right like in the right. comics he's a lot more Chris Prattish than he used to be I feel like this iteration for Craven for me was so damn good it's like that's what I want for all other future Cravens in the comics I, I know that that fucking trash movie from Sony is not gonna meet that expectation but it should right. like that's he right. was just so Powerful, I wish I could say that about the other characters in the game. I know. I I, hey, we'll get to it. Okay. Save it. Save it. We'll get to it. We're gonna. I want to really get into the symbiote I'm specifically. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but dude, like I said, to me, this was like again so intimidating. His presence was so commanding. And I love different Mr. than Lee. the Craven I, that I think of. I love Mister Negative in this. I love him becoming more of a Miles villain right in mm-hmm. in the way because of him seeing his dad killed in the first one with it all right and and something on that and him not even knowing who miles was until learning about it and then being like no right i miles despite beating him despite all the things craven was doing to him was still holding back when he helped free him right from craven's mm-hmm. prison i uh, because he knew it was the right thing to do like he and mr lee finding redemption and a different level of deal at the end right like peter makes some comment about how he's never had that right with any of his Mm -hmm. rogues and it's it's that was very well done i really really liked that i i really really liked that mr negative in this i really did I, i liked it too because he wasn't like he wasn't in the game too much but i feel like he was in the game just enough does that make sense? Like, I think if he was the in it, story more... in it was profound for him enough yes. to carry the weight of his importance of being there. A hundred percent. I hundred yeah. percent agree. But yeah. I want to talk about really quickly again, before we get into the symbiote stuff, because that's, I feel that's going to be the main topic of discussion for this episode, but I want to, something that you touched on that I really love about this game is the not necessarily the new gadgets but just like the whole system of gadgets and perks and all that that they implemented in this game so in the first game that was one of the things i don't want to say i didn't like but at least for me it just felt like with all the perks and like how you could do the different suit powers it was like i forget exactly how it was but it was like you could have three different suit powers the special move and then like your gadget, you know gadgets and whatnot and to me it was just a little too much right and it's like especially with like the suit powers like oh i want the you know bulletproof and then the you know all that you know wacky nonsense i i really enjoyed how they kind of simplified it got away with the suit power bullshit and you just have your you have your skill tree you have your i guess you still have the suit powers but it's just very different like the way it like uh your damage tree and your health tree and then right. your gadgets you have four gadgets and like that's it like before you had that whole weapon wheel and shit i yeah. like i liked it being a lot more simplified and like only okay. having four gadgets to choose from i thought i really enjoyed that change and i thought it made the game and the fight mechanic like the fighting a lot smoother and uh, uh, easier to do like combos and all that stuff so i really enjoyed that yeah it, it and some of the challenges right if you wanted to to get the 100 percent score on some of the instances and stuff that you'd find right as you flew across the map and crimes to pop up it's you know it's like 
I yank X or, you know, hit X amount of enemies at one time with a gadget, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, obviously, I need to draw them all into a circle, backflip outside of them and use my yank, right? Okay, but it made you have to learn to do that, right? Yeah. Or get X amount of hit streak while staying in the air, right? It made you practice your moves of, okay, if I'm in the air, what can I do? Well, I can yank them up to me, right? I can get a mm -hmm. swing kick. I can get a swing kick, tap, tap, combo in air, keep moving, grab another, right? It's It made you practice yeah. those things in, in real time without, you know, being like, hey, if you want to get good at this, there's a fight ring over here you can do to go practice your combos. It just mm -hmm. puts you on the spot. And, and I enjoy a game, for me, it feels more immersive to put me on the spot, right? Kind of like God of War does, right? All of a sudden, it's like, oh, there's a challenge here if I do that. Oh, well, then I guess I got to practice the use of those. Let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. And I'd replay the instance, right? It's, yeah, I'd be like, okay, I got to get good at doing that. Let me swing over here, grab another fight so I can practice that. Like, yeah. yeah. Now, granted, this is my third one. So at this point, I'm fantastic <laughs> at air combos, but that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I really love, like I said, the the kind of streamlined process of the abilities and the gadgets and stuff. And that's another thing I wanted to ask you about really quickly is the web wings. I wanted to ask you because I feel like that's another thing that's kind of like divisive between people for some reason. And the reason I bring it up is because I was one of the people like when they get not like I was like hating on the web wings. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's super cool. But I was like, I'm I'm not going to use it that much. Like, I'm Spider-Man, right? I'm not Superman. Like, I'm going to be swinging. Like, why? Do, I don't need to be flying. Boy, was I wrong. I was so wrong. The web wing, at least in my opinion, like I said, I want your opinion on this. But I think the web wings are so fun. The way that you're able to travel through with the web wings, like, so much faster. I, I love it. I think it's so great. But, Gorgon, what do you think of the web wings? Okay. I think of it like this. Swinging here, high status. Web wings, they match. Dude. But, 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 but. Add in the wind tunnels Dude. and add in the, the ability to pop in and out when chasing. Bro, web wings. God tier. I, Dude, I, I, God tier. So I, fun. I think too, I, what I really love is I think they work so well together. Like it's so not well, just so the well. web wings or the Correct. swinging, but using it together to like propel your you swing or whatever. Oh, uh, almost, almost. All okay. Stuff. So to get some of those, you have to be able to use both and know how to do mm -hmm. it. Like to get some of those, you have to come from like a quarter mile away off the top of a building, use your web wings as you get close to it, grab it. And your options are either pop back into web wings or freaking deep dive, grab a building and swing yourself off to the next spot. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, those are your options. It's I, to get some of those, you'd have to swing yourself off a building, launch yourself in the air web wings and dash over real fast and grab it before you lost up. Right. It's mm -hmm. they, they made you have to learn to use both mm -hmm. to get some of the challenges and things. And it felt very smooth. It felt yeah. very smooth. And I yeah. think too, it'd be very easy to just make it like you could do one or the other. Right, like you can just swing yeah, all the right, time, you, or you, just you need fly, a certain right? level of height yes. for web wings to work. Yes. Exactly, you uplift currents. Like if yes. you're at that height, and you lose current, you're going down. Mm -hmm. I, That's yeah, why no, I say they you. did such a great job of merging the two together to where it's like they have to work. They have to be symbiotic, right? They have to work together, which is a perfect segue into the symbiote talk so the symbiote conversation which i know you have thoughts but i want to get so i want to say my piece first because you are the venom expert you are a lot Please do. yes i would say because you're a lot closer to this than me so i want to get my thoughts out and then you're going to tell me why i'm an idiot and why i'm wrong <laughs> so, that. that's my favorite part beautiful. <laughs> so Obviously, everyone out there know, even if you haven't played the game yet, you know that Venom is in this game. The symbiotes as a whole are in this game, which we are going to talk about some of the different versions included in this game. But for me, overall thoughts on the symbiote side of it, which everyone who's watched our uh, episodes before or listened to our episodes before, y'all know I love my Sims. Gorgon is our symbiote expert, but I love symbiotes. I, especially after being friends with Gorgon for the last couple of years, I am way more versed in my symbiote lore than I was before. So I'm not a newbie. 
I'm not a newbie. I know a thing or two, right? But here's my take on the symbiotes in this game. So one, I, my main point is that I'm just happy that they were included, right? I, while I 100% understand Gorgon's gripes with this, and I have gripes with it as well, and especially from like a story standpoint of how the symbiotes are dealt with, I have a lot of issues with, but as a whole, just as a fan of symbiotes and as a fan of these games, I was just so psyched to have them included in the game to fight Venom. The, you know, spoiler alert, if you're watching this and haven't played the game yet, but the mission where you get to play as Venom is just like, I texted Gorgon. I was like, this is fucking it, dude. Like this is Venom. While, while the story behind it, I wasn't so thrilled by, that mission, I was like, oh, I'm fucking Venom, dude. Like, I felt I felt unstoppable. I'm biting people's heads off. Like, that, that stuff was just amazing. It was just amazing. And, again, the black suit, I thought they did an amazing job with. The design of it, not the story. The design of it was spectacular. I enjoyed. So, again, I have issues with the way the story plays out but i did enjoy the inclusion of so many symbiote threads while i may not have liked how those threads came to be i so uh so mary jane is scream in this game she gets a symbiote and turns to scream which i don't like that but i like scream was in the game i liked the just from a fan like seeing the design of scream and like having to fight her in the game like that was super cool but the yeah. fact that it was mary jane i did not like and same right. thing with venom like i in like seeing him in the game fighting him playing as him all amazing the story of who venom was and why venom was I wasn't so thrilled by. So like I said, I take at the end of the day, I think as a player and for enjoyment, it was a win for me. But if you're coming at it from a storytelling perspective and like how the implications of like where the story could go further with symbiotes, I, I, I got to give it a thumbs down that. So that's my, I know it wasn't very quick, but those are my thoughts on it. So Gorgon, take it away tell us why this is awful <laughs> not awful but like i said give us no, the no, I, down. So I, I, I have a couple I, questions so you go ahead and if you hit question, my questions we'll go I'm, I'm, I'm a gamer too right mm -hmm. i i'm not just a symbiote fan i'm also a gamer i it's yeah it's i okay i enjoyed scream right but i love scream I did not enjoy it being Mary Jane. I, I I actually loathe it now for the fact that that interview has come out from, from one of their lead directors right the other day talking about like, oh yeah, it just made so much sense, right? She's wearing a yellow shirt and has red hair. Those yeah. screen colors, why not just make her scream? I'm like, are you an absolute fucking moron? Like, I, <laughs> the fact that like, you were just like, yeah, it's just a nice visual transition because of her clothes, duh, obviously, mm -hmm. like, bitch like scream has fans like there there yeah. are people who care about that symbiote there are people who care about the the main host that we've had in it with patricia and with andy i uh, there is a lot of history there and you're like i'm gonna include her because shirt color make visual transition nice mm -hmm. like, and I, that's kind of what i felt about like all box the symbiotes me, bro. in the game is that like the creators or the you know i don't want to say creators but you know the people who did this game to me, it's like they knew the symbiote characters, right? But not what those what those characters meant, or like even I would even go as far as say like what their storylines were. It was more and so see, like they is, googled like oh I'm different symbiotes, it. and we're like oh there's one called Scream, and she's has red hair. Mary Jane has red hair, so they just kind of threw it in there, right? That's that's how this it felt is, to me. This is where I lose people. Okay, this is where I lose people as as the sim fan and gamer fan with with being upset at them for this, right? Because I would love to say, you know, and and play off the well, Insomniac didn't fully know, right? I what what they were getting into with this deal, though, right? On on with Symbiote. No, and all they that. knew for sure. Um, 
they knew. I'm saying that's what it felt spent, like. That's what it they, felt like. It felt like that, right? But mm -hmm. I can't give them that excuse because they spent an obscene amount of money making sure that their people were familiar with, with all this symbiote content. They were actively reading the Kate's run and everything attached to it the entire freaking time. They were actively engaged on social media's list, like deep within the hive, right? As, as we call ourselves, reading all of our tweets, seeing everything that went viral and, and to all the hallway. And then they still made the choice to say, no, nah, we're going to do our own thing. Okay, that's great. But like your original take is once again, a take that's comprised of, oh, look, Ultimate Spider-Man and Spider-Man Inc., the, the animated cartoon. Gee, color me surprised. Wow, I haven't seen that before from an original take. Like I, it's fucking box me, bro. Like yeah. I, just, I got- No, it's frustrating. In that regard. Like, it's I frustrating for sure. my back and tell me I'm raining. Tell me it's raining, right? Like I, if, if you just want to say, hey, we just thought the symbiotes were a really cool thing to use and we just thought, fuck it, why not use them however we want, then just say that, but don't lie to me. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's what they did is they, which again, that's another thing where I'm kind of uh, on both sides of the fence of a little bit in the sense of like the, the Insomniac universe is not the comic universe, right? Like this is an entirely new Spider-Man take. Like while yes, it is Peter Parker and he has tons of the same qualities and stuff that we know and love. At the end of the day, this is a new interpretation of the world of Spider-Man. So I, I, on one side of the fence, I think that they should have the liberty to change what they want to change for their universe. So like in this Spider-Man universe, Harry Osborn is Venom, right? It's like, I can get behind that idea, but the way in which that they laid it out to me, I think they dropped the ball. Right. It's like I 100 so percent am there for creative changes and that, like you said, this is how they want to do symbiotes in yeah. their universe. It doesn't have to be the same as the comics, but just Correct. personally, I think that they just didn't do it very well. And again, they took a lot of things that could have meant things, but were just like oh like just slap it in there like like so scream right her being mary jane is cool but andy benton could be a dope ass character going forward in future games so okay. it's like andy, why would you not use that game. andy's in the game oh my uh, god they, they have made <laughs> andy young they have made andy gonkey's love interest the chick that he's pining after in school when he's talking to him later he mentions their name is andy and it's spelled a-n-d-i with it right what? andy's in the game flash thompson's in the game right uh, but they're not even closely connected to each other at all like it's it's just like it's like bro you had the chance and you you mm. just went entirely the other i i am again so I, that brings up a question I that i have Go for oh, it. I, I say, finish your thought, though. Finish your thought. I, I, my my thoughts on this art is, I am, I am normally the person who says, "Hey, it's an adaptation, right? Understand, mm -hmm. it's not the same as the comics." And I do, I really do. the The problem with this is their execution of what they did, right? It's not that it's different from the comics; it's that some of the things they did are so out of character for everybody, and it just doesn't seem like there was a rhyme and reason for it, other than mm -hmm. just we felt like it. Yeah, I it, it 100%. I made a thread on this and some of the stuff feels like it just came out of they threw names in a freaking hat, they threw symbiotes in a hat, different stuff here and trying to figure out writing their story, they just randomly picked stuff out of the hats and rolled with it. Mm -hmm. Right? It's 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 not about the fact that Eddie Brock isn't the host of it. That that is the big thing I want to talk to people about. It is not. And and like I said, I we can we can pin that thread in, in Twitter when this video comes out right in there for people to see in the comments for, for them to get their take on. But it's, it's not that Eddie isn't the host. That's not the deal. We would have been very open to the idea of Peter Parker's best friend becoming the host, Harry Osborn. Okay. But like, it's not Harry Osborn. It, it's, it is literally like part Flash Thompson, part Eddie Brock. Mm hmm that that is not Harry Osborn, right? It it's is when he gets the suit, it looks like armor. It looks like Agent Venom. Why? Yes. That that is that is Flash Thompson. And in mm -hmm. some of like the comments he makes about like let's just play ball, let's get in there and stuff. Okay, that's Flash Thompson's dialogue. That's Flash Thompson's mentality, right? The possessiveness he has over the symbiote is very Flash Thompson having a hard time grasping with the the symbiote doesn't want to be with them anymore right i some of his actions the way more bully he gets later on and and with the symbiote 
you know, I making him think his sickness is worse, that he'll die without it and stuff like that. That is straight up what the symbiote's done to Eddie these years, mm-hmm. right? The constant going back to the church. Why? Why does that church have significance to Harry Osborne? It yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, I was, it's dude, yeah, I thought the same Eddie thing. Brock, mm-hmm. I, it's, it's, it's not that Eddie Brock's not in the game, it's that Eddie Brock is in the game. He is in this universe, and they literally chopped and screwed him and Flash Thompson in order to make Harry Osborne. That's not Harry Osborne. And mm-hmm. then once, once it's back with Peter, yeah, parts of that are Peter Parker, but part of it is so Flash Thompson coded, it's unreal. Like I, it's you guys clearly wanted Flash Thompson in the game. He's in your universe. Fucking put him in. Put him in, Coach. So uh, that's it, my that leads perfectly into my question like, that I have. That's, for that's you. a huge part of my problem with with how they did the story. It's not that we wouldn't have been open to these things. It's the fact that you clearly were open to these things because you took these characters and you just chopped and screwed them up to make your amalgamation characters. And that's said, no, we don't need those others. We have this character. We've done like this here. Great. And you literally took out all of that character's personality and chopped it, screwed it from these others that you said you couldn't fit in the game that you literally just did, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it's. Yeah. Like, uh, and like I said, so that's one of my big questions that I have for you, because this is a character that I'm not very knowledgeable about and I need, I need your sim knowledge on. So flash Thompson and agent venom as a whole, or not even agent venom, anti venom. So I was very confused on like that whole kind of dynamic in the game right so uh, let me tell you my understanding i always thought that agent venom so flash thompson agent venom was just the version of venom when flash thompson has the symbiote like that you know like he has the armor and shit like that and so and then my again on top of that is like so what is the anti-venom because again i always assumed that anti-venom was just like a again another version of a symbiote but it was white right but then we see in the game that the anti-venom like disintegrates the symbiotes right so is that in the is that in the comics or is that a okay. game thing no, that it's, they it's in the comics so, so okay, this, okay. Is, this is one of my favorite things to talk about as a sim person because anti-venom's history and lore has changed so okay. yes um agent venom is is when Flash Thompson is the host, right? Is Agent Venom mm-hmm. for a while. For a minute, he's Agent Anti Venom, right? Which you've yeah, read with the in white Flash Avengers, right? Yeah. But but that is perfect because what the comics did is traditionally how Anti Venom or what what Insomniac did is traditionally how Anti Venom the comics is, right? Anti Venom comes originally from from an experiment happening at the Life Foundation with it all, right? And and dealing with what was still inside of Peter's body with the reaction to Mister Negative creating what would basically be a symbiote which we weren't aware at the time was dealing with codexes right codices mm-hmm. right i thought that was still in him which we would find out later in kate's run right how all that worked but regardless it was dormant it it was not a living symbiote with its own consciousness no connection and all that right it was created out of a reaction of what happened within his bloodstream right it's something that later ends up with flash thompson right flash thompson then becomes agent anti-venom when when it's with eddie brock he looks very crazy very visceral very primal because it's playing off the same way a suit would right your subconscious as a host and how you would imagine it right so when peter wears it he has the white suit right because that's Mm -hmm. his reference of mind for what it would take form for is his suits because that's where his point of view always has been right this is okay it's uh it's thompson's right is is always very armored militant because he was a soldier who Mm -hmm. who lost his legs at war right okay doesn't make sense for freaking Harry Osborne to have that as the image in his head because he hasn't been a soldier, been off at war, done these yeah. things. Like I, I digress. Like mm-hmm. it's it, whatever. I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I, it's it's Eddie Brock's official primal because of his reactions with with Venom. Okay, the Kate run changes things because Thompson's been dead, but in the hive, right? The memory of him and his codis. Go, go to the deep hive where Null is, and there's all these failed symbiotes in jars, right? They are symbiotes. They just didn't come out how he wanted, right? They are symbiotes. Flash blows all that up, and it enters into him, and he's able to escape the hive and turns into a symbiotic dragon because now it is symbiotes. It is somewhere in a form of partial consciousness or full consciousness, which we didn't fully understand, right? We're like, it is different now. It is an actual living symbiote now that changed things. And we saw that in in Savage Avengers because, like, it was starting to have its own reactions that he couldn't control, 
mm-hmm. right? And and start having this like communication with his suit, right? It's not not full on conversations, not the other yet, but but it was depending on the time period, its reaction, what was around him, going back and forth between dragon primal urge, like we used to see with Eddie Brock, his normal agent mm-hmm. suit he likes to wear, right? It it's it's changed, and and we still don't fully know the depths of that change, right? Mm-hmm. It's I want the details on where it is now, but but where I digress. What they did in the game is is very on point for for how it starts in the comics. Or, okay, yes. see, because I always yeah. like I said, I'm not knowledgeable on Anti Venom or Flash Thompson yeah, it's, really. It's, it's so pretty, I always it's it was just for, the, for how it came about in the comics. Yeah, I yeah. always just assumed it was just kind of a new color scheme, and they no, they called it, it they called it Anti Venom because it was white. Anti Venom yeah. is it has a reaction against the symbiotes, it tearing their stuff apart and hurting them. Okay. Right, that's how come up uh, Silence was a huge deal when she dropped right because anti-venoms matter got mixed in with what was left with scream and an attempt to revive her and it created a whole new living symbiote Mm -hmm. silence and and it's kind of this hybrid of screams powers and anti-venoms powers right not only that she can touch things and and infect them and break their connection to the hive right Mm -hmm. now that anti-venom matters change since it came out of the hive with the dragons now and it actually has like a legitimate symbiosis to it right that has changed what has happened now with it with silence because silence can break full connections to hive and touching she can touch and enter into the hivescape like shit is crazy right Mm. it's mm, Mm. yeah so so anti-venom has always had this ability to to hurt symbiotes in a way and and tear them apart chemically yeah okay okay so yeah that make the the game makes a lot more sense to me now then especially all yeah. that stuff with the anti-venom and all that which reminds me this is another criticism i have of the game and i this is such a small detail but the hyper focus in me cannot let it go and i absolutely hate it but so when you finish the game or at least get far enough in the game you unlock the like cartoon black suit right or even at the end of the game you get the black suit back like just as cosmetic right what i hate about this and i don't understand why they would do this is i hate that when i'm wearing the black suit and i use my venom powers like the anti-venom powers that it's still white and like i know that's such so like if like if i'm wearing the cartoon black suit right and i use my venom punch thing like the tendrils are white or if I go into my power up mode, he, you know, goes into the white suit. And oh, it's because you're anti-venom at that moment. I know, I know that, but I don't know. It's just like I like like when I'm wearing the black suit, in my mind, I feel like the tendrils and stuff should be black. And it's like right. they even went as far as when I'm web swinging with a black suit, my webs are black. But then when again, when so I use much. when I use like the the burst ability or any of my symbiote powers the tendrils are white and like i said it's just it's very small small criticism but it's like no, you, it's, it's, and not only that but in the beginning of the game when you are wearing the black suit all your animations are black tendrils so it's like i you did the work i know it's possible like we've already seen it so i don't understand why it can't be as simple as like if i'm wearing the anti-venom suit or even any other spider-man suit like the red and blue the tendrils are white right but if I'm wearing the black sim suit, the tendrils are black. I think that's a very easy thing to do. And like I said, I know that's a very, there's a very small detail to be upset about. But it no, I get me. you. It I, really there's, bothers there's quite me. a few complaints on cosmetics in this game and how stuff is put together and like forcing you to wear certain ones for like a Dude, mission or two. The like last really one, Miles is. Uh, oh my god, we gotta talk about that. We gotta talk about it. Okay. I, I low key, so I low key kind of liked the suit at first. I'm gonna, oh, I'll throw guys. myself out there. I love, it. I love yeah. that suit. Okay. I do not. I everybody okay. keeps saying I no. This suit it. was obviously made by a white person. I, you know what? If that's what it is, maybe that's why I love it because I fucking love that suit. I, I do not get what is sick with that. Okay, suit. I so get that, like I get the biggest issue I have with it is it turns out as it was for an Adidas ad. That's right. my thing. Yeah, that, that's that my, is my thing. Yeah. Big issue with it is it should not have turned out to be an Adidas ad, particularly when he has a whole line in the game with with some random NPC who makes some comment about Spidey merch being like, nope, we have a strict policy on no Spider-Man merchandise, right? It's not for trademark licensure. And then it turns out that the suit that like 
makes the internet livid about is the one that was actually done as a full-on advertisement. Yeah, that, that was gross. I didn't I, like that. I, I, I got to say, I don't like the mask either. The hair, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of having the hair out with the mask, which I don't hate it. But I'm just, a, a huge fan of that. Like I said, I don't hate it. I'm just, it's not the biggest fan. But so I think the suit is dope. I like the suit. And not only that, but when I saw everyone like uh, talking about it on Twitter, I was like, I felt like literally like the Homer Simpson meme where he goes into the bushes. Like, I kind of like the suit, right? But I I will say, though, the thing I didn't like and whether I think I think we can all agree on this, whether you like the suit or not. I do not like that I was forced to wear it in the last couple missions. That I do not like. And it's if I if I wanted to wear it, that's great. And it's there as an option. That's fantastic. But I did not like how in the last couple missions, no matter what suit I chose for Miles, he was wearing the end suit in the in the Correct. credit scenes and stuff. Correct. I did not like that. That felt forced. Correct. That felt like Correct. Adidas and Insomniac shoving it down my like you have to wear this right and i did not like like, that so on that point i will agree with people for a game with a lot of symbiote content that obviously took after like the kate's run like so hard for for its its uh its its source material they kept giving miles these really cool symbiotic suits that's another gripe i have that is that's another issue i have bro that's another one of those suits for miles look sick and I was yeah. like, okay, but like, why does Miles get a king in black suit? Yes, because like, yes, thank you. That's my biggest one. That's not something he would be. That's yes. not something he wore. Like, Dude. I, like, I, yes. Uh, another, right. again, another, just, it's a small detail to some. And it's just like a, you know, maybe I'm just hyper focused on that stuff. But no, I, that not, is, because the hive that is my, uh, yes, that's my other big yeah. criticism of. Yeah the suit system okay, is well, why I'm would miles father. have a king in black suit and peter doesn't like what how does that make sense i know that again that's such a stupid thing to be upset about but you, i okay. am upset i, I am upset about when you i told you to text me when you finished all the stories of the cult of the flame so we could talk about it and you didn't oh, so I didn't. Let's, I forgot. let's talk about it because i want to talk about the cult of the flame um because you you have to finish it to be the game and you did yeah right? i finished yep okay so so how soon did you realize it was Cletus Cassidy? I'll tell you, I realized the first moment they interacted because the blood pattern and the water on his shirt looked very much like Cletus's Hawaiian shirt. And with his red hair there, it was so fucking obvious to me. I was like, oh, that's going to be Cletus. See, I didn't know until we talked about it, which I know you didn't mean you didn't do anything to spoil it for me. So like, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. But just when we were talking about it, I remember, remember I was like, oh, fuck you, dude. It's Cletus. Yeah, like, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea until we had that conversation. So no, like I said, you didn't do anything. It was more so like my brain catching up to what I already knew. But I was yeah. like, oh, fuck you, dude. That's fucking Cletus. But yeah, so after that, and then once I, when I went and played the last mission, I went into it, like, knowing that this is Cletus. Yeah. But I... Again, so not not being the symbiote expert, right? I thought I thought that was cool. I thought that was really great. While I mean, obviously, like there's a lot more to Cletus Cassidy's backstory than what we get in the game. It achieved for me that this dude's a fucking psycho. This dude is, you know, nutso, and now he's got a symbiote. So to me, I think the Indeed. stage is set, and I think that they can do well moving forward. But like I said, that's just me coming from like a very a, a symbiote fan, but not an expert. So I I took it like this. I feel like what they did with Cletus would have been fine and perfect had they not at all used Kate's material from Absolute Carnage and King in Black for their story. Right? See, and that and, was and the, the weird thing too. Yeah. Is, is is what Cletus does in Absolute Carnage is beyond necessary for the foundations to lead up for what is king and black right mm-hmm. okay and and the thing is you cannot have those two stories without eddie brock and dylan brock you cannot they they are integral right so the fact that they took these two stories and said hey these aren't really spider-man stories these are venom stories okay not spider-man venom and and these stories require these characters to be told we're going to strip all that out and we're going to give it to spider-man Bruh. I, you know what I mean? It's, well, it's literally like they just took a bunch of symbiote stories, put it in a blender, and then like saw what came out. And it's like that could yeah. be good, 
but the way that they did it again felt like very copy paste like oh we have this in it like uh, i think you bring up a great point with absolute carnage right it's like a lot of harry's storyline with venom is kind of very much akin to absolute carnage and like oh, what not, he's not doing absolutely so they've even that's what said I mean. so that's what i'm saying and it's like but it's like why like you didn't need to put it like i like the idea of including that but you didn't the piece didn't need to fit there right and like same thing with the cletus stuff like i like where it is or i like the idea of it but the piece could have fit better here right and it just yeah, and that's I, what makes it feel kind of very copy paste and again it makes it feel like the creators just were like oh yeah like there's this character let's use that but now we know that they have more knowledge deeper than that which again makes it even more frustrating two, two more games and and i would have been perfect for them to tell a a quick paced absolute carnage leads towards the beginnings of king and black game thrown in one two you know two that's gonna games. be dlc I think, they, I I think they would have okay again that's not you what know. I said. It, I, no no i'm saying they're gonna do that though but have the carnage stuff in there told the story differently and had two more games of build up before they tried to rush the absolute carnage quick speed straight into king and black story that they were trying to run the gambit on mm -hmm. right i and and they need eddie fucking brock i it's like i said you know they're gonna do the i i would bet my bottom dollar i'll bet my hammer on it that the dlc is gonna be either maximum carnage or absolute by name that's what they're gonna call it and it's gonna be a carnage dlc i i will bet my bottom dollar on it i'm not and, i'm not saying i'm that's a good choice i'm just saying that's what they're gonna do for sure and i I liked what they did with him. I, I really did. I just think it should have come sooner, right? Or, or should have come before the rest of the story, right? For it. I, I don't... There's some things with this personality and the way they did the cult of the flame that I do not enjoy. Okay? I, I enjoy the idea of him leading a cult and stuff, but that doesn't necessarily make sense for him as Cletus. It might with Carnage. If you're stealing from the frickin' storyline that runs directly adjacent with Absolute Carnage about how Cletus came to be again, or how Carnage came to be again, and how it sacrificed itself for him, right? From a cult worshiping him and 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 talking about his arrival and their big day. Mm -hmm. They stole from that directly, right? I But, but threw it completely out of order with how. I, you have Cletus talking about this as if he's prophesizing and drawing the spiral, so he's Cortland Cassidy. They they have taken Cletus Cassidy, Cortland Cassidy, Carnage, and the cult of Carnage, threw it all in a blender, and squeezed out and said, this is your Cletus Cassidy before he ever gets Carnage. I, mm. And they put the, they, they split it, it just doesn't make, like, they, they, it's so obvious that they've deep dive read the source material. It's so obvious that they understand the, why these stories work, because one comes before the other to build the setting. And then they just said, no, nah, we're not going to do that at all. Like, it, it is frustrating and I, I am not normally a person who has Cletus fans' backs out there, right? Because a lot <laughs> of Cletus fans give Symbiote fans a bad name. They're really rude on Twitter. There's some really good ones out there. I like Karn, Karn Bites, and some of the others. I Listen, I'm going to say it right now. I speak for the Hive. All of you Carnage fans and Cletus fans, I understand why you're upset right now. And you are valid to be upset. And I believe in you and I love you, and we are going through this pain together. I, I, The thing is, and I think this is the big deal for a lot of Symbiote fans, right, is it, it has taken a long time for people to realize Venom's not a Spider-Man villain because the animated show when we were kids did us dirty, right? And it has taken a long time for an opportunity to move past that. Immediately take some of the biggest storylines out there that, that are so centered on Venom is a hero, right? And what Venom is doing, strip that away from Venom, give all of it to Spider-Man for no reason and say, JK, we're going to throw Venom back in. He's the bad guy of it all. He was the guy behind it all the whole time. So I, And that's another thing too, I feel like with the story as a whole, at least for me, is that don't get me wrong. I love like you know me i'm let's fucking go dude you know what i mean like oh king and black let's go this let's go you know i'm i'm very much here for all the big stuff right oh. but i really think that they just got a little overzealous 
with their Venom storyline that they wanted to tell. And I think that they could have done just as good a job and pulled back a lot of this massive story that they're trying like you said like they're trying to fit in king in black cult of carnage absolute carnage all this stuff i think it could have been just as successful and it could have worked just as well if they just scaled it back and gave us just a classic venom origin with like with him still being which i know you don't like and again i you know that i'm a proponent of venom not being a villain but have him start out like classic you know, whether it's Eddie Brock or Harry Osborn gets the symbiote develops this hatred for Spider-Man. You know, they have a big fight at the end. I think that simple story works so well that it could have, even though we've seen it, it could have worked just as well in this insomniac universe and given them more time to then let's do King and black in a sequel. Let's do it. You know, yeah, exactly. Yes. Build it up for two more. They could have even in this one, if they wanted to, to make fans appreciate venom being with Harry, right. Show something different with their relationship. Yeah. Right. Uh, Give me a reason to care about Harry Osborne as the host with venom, but they didn't, Mm -hmm. they didn't give me Harry with venom. They gave a chopped and screwed version of of Ed Brock flash Thompson mixed in with venom. Mm-hmm. And and took out all the things that make those things work as individuals in the process. It's I yeah, it's it's not that it's not Eddie Brock as host of Venom. It is all the other things that go with it. It's mm-hmm. it's they just didn't execute the pieces that they chopped and screwed from well properly, right? It's mm-hmm. that's that's the problem symbiote fans have. And and while we're gonna be on that topic with Eddie, like I said, they took Two of the biggest the, the biggest run with two major events in comic history ever for symbiotes, I think we can agree, within the Cates run, Absolute Carnage and King and Black, mm-hmm. that are all about Venom being a hero and Eddie being a hero and redemption and coming greater than yourself and trials and tribulations has nothing to do with Spider-Man. And they took out Eddie Brock and they gave all of that to Spider-Man to make him the main character of. And then we're like, oh, hey, by the way, we're going to put Venom in. It's the bad guy. Don't worry. We're going to give it to your buddy, Hedy, Harry Osborn. And even though Eddie Brock exists in this universe and Flash Thompson does, we're going to say it's too hard to put them in the game. But we're going to chop and screw their personalities and pump that into Harry Osborn with no Harry Osborn personality. And you're going to love it. Also, turns out Venom was the mastermind behind it all the whole time, not all in this other stuff. And somehow, by the way, Cletus Cassidy is kind of more like a uh, Cortland Cassidy knows about all this stuff happening with no reason to at all before he ever even gets his hand on a symbiote. By the way, you're going to love it. That makes total sense. Don't question it. <laughs> I... So let me ask you this. So we're closing it in an hour. Me, like, <laughs> me in the street. Like I, I run this fade. Like I, I'm going like, oh, to give you a fucking venom blast for the hide. I so swear I, to God. So I, I think I know your answer to this question already, but I'm going to ask it to you anyway. And I'll, and we, we're going to have different answers on this. I know for sure. But so do you think that there is a way forward, a salvageable way forward for the symbiotes in this insomniac universe? Like if they, if, I mean, they're coming back for sure. There's I've, in my mind, they're in the game now. So they're in the universe. Yeah, Obviously, they even have a life foundation symbiotes in there without having a life foundation to explain how they get wild on the streets. I digress. Yeah. I, it's like they just looked at so, them and said, ooh, pretty colors <laughs> and abilities. They just put them in and maybe fight them. I, yeah. So do you I'm think good, in good, the good. DLCs and in the Spider-Man 3 that is in, eventually definitely coming, can they save the symbiote storyline for you? Or is it too far gone? Can they save it in a way that's good for their story? I think yes. Can they save it in a way that undoes the damage that they have done to symbiote lore and and fixes their relationship with symbiote fans? No. Fair. I do do not. I, I, because wherever they go from it from here, they have already shown they do not care about the timeline and how things work, right? I, they, they, they have ripped the timeline of how these things should work and create foundations for each other to pieces. Anything they do now to put it in a salvageable way to make symbiote fans feel good about the story and where it's going requires them undo the damage they have done and restring it in a different way. And they can't. They're not going to. Right. I it's yeah. See, and I think they're, they're very could proud be, of what they do. I think it could be somewhat salvageable. I think if they like, let's say in the next game they introduce Brock 
that you know because the symbiote's still there right like this this is how i'm coming for it the pieces are still there right like you just like you've mentioned eddie brock does exist in insomniac's world andy benton exists in insomniac world the ant uh flash thompson exists in the the insomniac we world. don't know that she's andy well benton, let's just but, but let's we, just we are assume assuming it's andy yeah, benton let's just for like, the sake no of this other andy in the spider-man universe yes. like I, that's why i said just for the sake of this hypothetical let's just assume that is anti andy benton so as we should exactly so like i am saying, the pieces are still there so I think that having all these pieces there, there is a way to bring them in and make it kind of retrace the steps a little bit and kind of fix some of the things that happened in the in this game. Uh, like, for example, with Scream, right? Like, yeah, she was on Mary Jane, right? It's like, we don't like that. It's like, whatever, that happened. But we can still have her on Andy moving forward, right? Same thing with Brock. Like, we can have Venom Brock moving forward, even though where it began is something we don't like, right? It, 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 would Can you agree with me on that? Or am I, am I crazy? Am I being too generous? I think for me to fix it the way you're saying, because I, I was thinking about this as you said it, I think you're close on it. I think what they would have to do is they would have to have an entire Venom game. And, and it would have to start out not being Venom. It would have to start out Peter getting a call or something from, from Miles on it about being like, hey, I know you're retired, but I need your help with one thing, right? You remember that? And he'll be like, oh, as long as it's not more symbiote stuff. And Miles being like, okay, here's the thing, though. Whoops. Um, it's it's loose, right? And and if if it cuts away straight to that night at the church, Brock trying to kill himself. See, right? that's what I'm and, saying. And like we can pick up right him, there, right? That that could have potential if they played around with the story to put it in a way that would be digestible. I think for symbiote fans, but they would have to be very very careful to not fuck it up again. Right. Mm-hmm. You'd have to find a way to make it. OK, why is why is he there at the church wanting to kill himself? Right. It's not it's that Spider-Man ruined his career because Peter Parker's not working for the Bugle and hasn't a long time in this one. Right. It's they'd have to do something else with it. Um, and, and I think there's some really good, decent ways they could go with it. Right. I, but they can't go with the cancer route now because they kind of just burn that bridge out with with harry right and though i'm gonna fix you from sickness thing right you can't pass it back and forth between him and flash thompson like they've done in the comics because well the passing back and forth you just did with basically who would be flash thompson as agent venom between harry and peter for a whole game right it's they 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 very much made it hard for themselves to tell a story to repair it and include all the things that that make that lore what symbiote fans like i think they could do it but I think they would have to seriously restructure their entire way of how they want to tell the story and mm-hmm. seriously think about what they're doing. And I just no longer have faith in Insomniac to think about what they're doing when it comes to symbiote stories because they've proven that they will spend millions of dollars, pay people to learn it all, and then not give a fuck at all about it. So yeah. I, I have a hard time imagining that there's a world and a timeline where they make that game and they they care and it comes out in a way that appeases symbiote fans and makes up for the damage they've done. I think they can. I just don't think it's going to happen. You think they can, but you're doubtful that they will. Oh, I'm doubtful, doubtful that they yeah. will. Yeah, I, I, I would I would bet my money that it's not going to happen. I, See, and yeah. I'm I think I'm a little bit more hopeful than you are that they will. I, I and I'm hoping so. But I think again at the end of the day, while I have a oh, ton just, of problems, I, hope you're right, I'm wrong. I yeah, hope yeah. I mean, I hope yeah, I'm exactly. Wrong. I really do. Yeah. And I mean, for every Symbio fan, like, it's like, I, I hope that I'm wrong too, or not that I'm wrong, but you get what I mean. Like, again, like yeah, we all want this right great wrong. story, right? We all just want justice for these characters. And I think too, I think one thing that we can all agree on is like I said, while the storyline might not be there and the way in which it's dealt with, like we talked about earlier in this episode, the gameplay of it is phenomenal. Like the fighting okay. Venom is so great. Even just, at least for me, even just fighting the other symbiotes on the street, I think is really great. Like how they make them immune to like the webbing and stuff, I think is really smart to kind of differentiate. There's not a single boss fight in this game. And, and I'm talking all of them 
that did not make me have to try it more than once, right? Dude, I, I think yeah, the they were kicking my I ass. Didn't have to do, the only one I had to do twice was Sandman, and it's because I wasn't aware of when I was supposed to grab or what to do in the beginning, right? And then I just figured it out. I was like, oh, my bad, wasn't paying enough attention, got this. Yeah. But the rest of them, I and I'm not playing on, like, the extreme difficulty right out the gate. I think it's playing on... I was playing on uh, normal. I, I, yeah, I wasn't playing on normal. I was above that, or, or in middle, or I, I wasn't easy... No, not but, I just I do the middle of the road like you're yeah, just kind of I was basic. doing middle of the road I think yeah. right I want I want harder combat but I also still enjoy the story right let's go and I dude I got my ass when I was Miles and even? Peter was freaking out Peter was whooping my ass dude like he was kicking my shit all around town he was whooping I me. beat him easier than I beat Craven right before him right? Craven was Craven, tough too Craven was Craven tough. whipped my ass and then like when it gets to scream i did not expect the scream fight to whip my that ass one whip like my did. ass too yeah i, I was like I, damn man, Jay, it kind of chill. it pissed me off that that every time you would beat a boss in this game right instantly their health would full regen to their next session for your next set of fighting them but yours was just Dude. like i if you wanted full <laughs> health you'd have to die Dude, I, it was it, rough you have for to sure. allow yourself to die that shit made it hard because but i'd be I like man it, i barely made it through and then it's just whack one hit you're dead like fuck yeah i, I love that though like, i felt like the first game do you have mary jane watson i i think the first game kind of fell a little flat in that regard for me like I, the boss fights were great but they were very like more cinematic and like they weren't you know, challenging yeah they were very fairly easy to beat i mean there was a couple that gave me some trouble but this one like you said almost all of them were very challenging like and even the brutes like the venom brutes those fuckers are hard dude like they're not oh, even a I boss boss at one time tough. in one yeah. of those high fights i had dude. three on me at one time i let me tell you those venom brutes i started like when i was playing as anti-venom would not use my ultimate like i would instinctually be like nope I, one to two brutes are going to pop up at any time. Can't mm-hmm. can't not have that locked and loaded, ready to go. Like I would sit on that Weird. shit probably more than I needed to because after the first couple times I'd pop it instantly, one to two brutes would pop up after, and I'd just be slam bam. Like what the fuck? I not nah, I got better about saving that shit. Yeah, it was rough for sure. But we're we're closing in on an hour here, and I got it. There's, so there's a, a couple questions I wanted to ask you before we end this off, and this is just a fun one. I gotta ask because I we've talked about this. I love my cosmetics. I love my suits and all that stuff. And I'm one of those. I will literally change suits five times in five minutes. Like I love all right. that stuff. So I gotta ask you, what's your favorite suit? from the game what's one i guess again i'm one of those where i change every five minutes but i know we all have the one that we're consistently rocking so what are you what's your favorite which one are you rocking i feel like i'm about to get judged um <laughs> I... for both peter and miles i gotta specify for both peter and miles okay um i love the anti-venom suit for peter i really did really um, I... Yeah, I did. I did. I, I thought they did great with the classic white and black on it. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I won't lie. So I ran it once I got it quite, quite a bit. I can't remember which one I have on him right now that I've switched to, but I'm enjoying what I have now. But for Miles Morales, my favorite one. Is the one, purple, the Adidas? I, I do enjoy that one. It's not my oh. favorite. Um, <laughs> I do enjoy his, Um, it's not... Uh. uh absolute carnage for him it's not his king and black one it's um dark ages where he has the, the, the hood i do enjoy that Dude, um slick. but my absolute favorite one for him is the agents of shield miles morales costume really with, you're with rocking the, the agents of shield <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i That's i really kind of dug it i yeah it i reminds really me did. of the spider monkey suit from far from home kind of, kind yeah. of. It, it's for me it's kind of somewhere between that and agent venom in one and I, I i like the idea of okay well if he's going to take over in this universe and we haven't gotten flash doing it or having flash with it yeah i'm like this feels like something that could happen in mm-hmm. this universe the agents of shield pick him up and this becomes his deal yeah I, that's I funny could, i could i love it that. mine yeah, is i, I got I can't get away from the black suit, man. I just, I love it so much. I think they did such a great job at designing like the game's version of it. I I think it's just For so Peter. good. 
Yes, for Peter. For Peter. Yes, for Peter. She's and, not justifying what they did to Harry, listeners out no, there. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, for Peter. So Peter's black suit. I like. I cannot get away from it. I try and I put on different suits, but I always come back to it. And also the animated uh, for Peter. Like it's not animated, but I call it the animated black suit, like from the cartoon with like no. the square, the square white on the on the hand. Oh, it's yeah. just. Dude, it's just so good. It's so good, and I love it so much. I can't, I can't get away from it. So yeah, the black, all, the, all the variations one? of the black suit is my favorite. For Miles, dude, this is gonna be funny. And like, this is a suit that I was like, whatever on. I have been really liking the one where he's like in like the leggings and like has the the sweater going like up to his nose. Yeah. Dude, the, I, the anniversary one, the 10 year yeah, anniversary one. Yeah, 10 year anniversary. Yeah. I yeah. like that suit, dude. Yeah. Like, I think it's cool. And, like, I, at first, when I saw it, like, in the comics before the game existed, I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, not my favorite, but what, you know, they always go back to their original suit. So, like, whenever, whenever a character gets a new suit, I always am just like, oh, that's fun. Like, whatever. But, playing it in the game and like seeing it in motion and like in the cutscenes and stuff i really like it i got it i'll i'll throw myself on the line here i like that one a lot and then i also his just classic i think his classic just the uh black and red that you start the game with i love it like both of their suits the up i guess upgraded now suits like from the first game the insomniac suits i think are both so damn clean like i i love them before we get out of here who do you enjoy playing as more peter or I was, miles i was gonna ask you the same thing dude <laughs> honestly that's hard for me because i would have said miles i i so i enjoyed the miles game i, I don't want to say more because it was shorter uh, so i don't really think it's fair to compare them but like i love using the venom powers and the invisibility stuff so i've always enjoyed playing as miles more but uh, but the big but that comes with the introduction of the symbiote powers for Peter, that makes it a lot harder for me. Because usually, like I said, I'm typically a Miles guy. I play as Miles more more than Peter. But with the symbiote powers, I've been it's been a little bit more even for me. I I gotta I it's honestly I gotta say even I think with with the sim powers. But any other day of the week, I'm Miles all day. I was miles all day in this one. I won't lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, even it's with so the good. sim powers, I, I I liked the sim powers more once it became like anti venom powers with it. But getting there was was the the time for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I had another one for you, and I just forgot it. Like, damn mm-hmm. it! Oh, who is your favorite villain in the game? Ooh, that's another good one. There's so many really great there's ones. So many. I mean, there's there's Mysterio. There's the yes, Mysterio the, was great. I, I enjoyed, enjoyed the Mysterio. So many of the villains that Peters had were reformed, right? Trying to mm-hmm. do stuff and be legitimate and and all that. And I liked that that quite a few of them helped work at at the Coney Island theme park, right? That was kind of nice to see. Mm-hmm. Um, it's. I don't want to say I liked Mysterio more. He he was compelling to me at the end when you finish his trials. I really enjoyed Sandman. I beat the Sandman and got yes, all the things dude. for him very quickly because I'm like, this feels so big and learning his story and everything and trying to help him. Dude. I, that opening mission was just incredible too. Yeah, everything with his daughter, that had me and and him slowly getting his mind back and his memories back as you do that and him telling you thank you and like giving you stuff to take to his daughter. That stuff had me. Ooh. Mm, yeah so good i gotta say though my favorite out of the game it's it's got to be craven it has to be like it just has to be like i explained before again i feel like i'm gonna get like craven you know super big craven fans like you didn't know that's how he is like how cool he is it's like no like i don't get me wrong like he's been dope but this iteration of him just like yeah like this iteration of craven though just really like hit me and like really like resonated with me and i was not resonated like i relate to him but you yeah. know what i mean like it just i was just like oh fucking craven is here Did you hear about the so, secret yeah. room? 
secret room. There's a secret today. room. So there's a room that you, we weren't supposed to be able to get in that they if they might have been playing to do something later or had use in a game and they didn't. Oh, but I've heard of this. this yes. Where you can clip walls and you can see Rhino's head on the wall and he kept him in his armor, right? Mm -hmm. Not just his human head, his armor in there. I he has killed the majority of Peter Sinister Six. Yeah, I 100%. Just, Shocker, I, I, Vulture. He, he has killed so many of his rogues just to do it. I, I, that, that we find out, you know, as we go through his prison where he kept the people and everything, like, I, it's, they mm. don't have a lot of characters left if they just pull from Peter's rogues to do in another Spider-Man game, right? Yeah. If if they're not going to pull in some Miles ones. And I think that's probably a huge reason too in why Miles is taking it over, right? It's a lot of your big Spider-Man villains, even some of your small ones are killed off. Mm -hmm. um, it might be time for them to try to adapt Miles' as rogues that he which has. I am 100% here, here for. I think that's great. I will say as a symbiote fan after what just happened to us, I'm a little concerned. For the Miles and Morales fans, <laughs> what will happen to their source material? I, 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 you know, I, I hope you guys get your rogues in a game. I'll keep my fingers, toes, and tendrils crossed for you that it, you know, mm -hmm. I, it comes out better for you than it did us. I, it's, yeah, but it's, you know, it's, I, I really thought that Craven was something else in this game, man. I, yeah. they didn't hide the fact that he was a murderer. The biggest complaint I've gotten from Craven fans is they wanted more of his familial interactions right in bringing them in i if, if you're going to tell the story of him with cancer and stuff right give us more stuff with it other than just what you find right as peter if you explore and find it right mm -hmm. other than what you find other than that conversation that he has with them if you found it right about it yeah. mid-battle later in the game right it's give us more about it mm -hmm. yeah it's, which i can agree us, with don't... i think that's fair and and they weren't good about giving us the the voice dialogue and stuff options till towards the end of the game where you can find all these you know nest and stuff after you take out all the towers you can find these hideouts do it get a voice line but they're just small one phone calls you know with certain members of his family the biggest thing I've gotten from Craven fans is give us more about his family and where he comes from because that stuff is huge to them and their lore with him as a character and they felt like that was dropped out a lot on yeah, and, and I, I think yeah. that's a hundred percent fair criticism I can get behind that totally yeah. But he was he was badass. I, badass. I think that's a huge, easy pick for for Faye villain. I still I still gotta say I like Sandman just because his story yeah. tugged on the heart strings and it, it made mm -hmm. me want to finish it before jumping into the game, despite knowing that there was so much more game ahead. Yeah, I really love Sandman too. And like I said, that beginning mission just kind of set the tone for the entire game, and it was just it was just so damn good. But I think we just got to close out this conversation that we already gave our thoughts over the game, like our overall thoughts. But again, while yep. we have problems with the story and like how some of the story it's elements were laid out, game. it is still an amazing game. Like to play it, like regardless of the story, playing it is so much fun. The, like I said, all the mechanics, the fighting, the loot or not loot system, but the, you know, uh, skills tree and everything i think it's an improvement on the first game in almost every single way but other than that gorgon besides all the sim stuff and I, we could we, I, we could do five more episodes on the sim stuff but do you have anything else about the game that you want the fans and uh people out there playing the game to know about the symbiotes play the game beat it have a great time with it enjoy the game um if if you are new to our channel and you're finding us because it's tagged about the game and 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 you're somebody who this is your first experience really into the symbiote stuff and you're like dude these people are crazy what are they talking about <laughs> I, I really love the game i love their big picture stuff what is this null this psycho with the long hair in their first keeps going off about <laughs> please do me a huge favor and go reread or, or read for the first time Donnie Kate's Venom run starting in 2018 and read the two events that go along with it. Absolute Carnage, King in Black. I hope you fall in love with the content that, that became a lot of the source and the, and the breaking grounds for the biggest parts of this game, the way we did as fans. And, and maybe you'll see what we're talking about in, in the way we feel on, on the way the source material was used. Um, they used a lot of great stories to make this game i write not just those they write craven's last hunt is obviously a huge use in this one right as is like parts of venom inc right have, mm -hmm. have been used in this and and in web shadows and all kinds of stuff i get that but but it's 
it's very obvious what they took from Cates for this. It's 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 impossible to deny that that his stories were were the major grounds for a lot of this. And I, if you haven't read it, please do. If you have, please go back and reread it. It's incredible work. I I can't talk about that story enough. Um, I hope you guys like the game. Please let us know down in below in the comments. Um, on, if you're watching us on YouTube, what you think. If you guys see us on Twitter, let us know what you think on it. Um, Brother Thor, out of one to ten hammers, how many hammers do you give this game? Ooh, I'm giving it a good nine out of ten hammers. I I thought it was so much fun. The the extra hammer is for the story. That's that's it. But I gotta give it nine. Okay, Brother Thor gives it nine out of ten. I didn't hammers, even hesitate so. with that answer either. I didn't, didn't even, even take hesitate. a breath. <laughs> Just locked and loaded. Just bam, bam. Um, okay. Um, I'm I am going to give it. <laughs> How many Sims? Seven and a half out of ten Sims. Oh, that's a that's a drastic difference. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's because I'm measuring them in Sims, not hammers. And what True. they did with Sims lore, I feel like weighs heavier on a weight of Sims. I I yeah. can I can be fair with that. Yeah. Okay. Like I Perfect. said, that's why I didn't give it the extra ten. Yeah. It, it's the nope. story. Yeah, yeah. The story yeah. brings it to, uh, takes away that extra hammer. But my yeah. dude, I'm so happy that we were able to do this. And being Thanks. obviously big Venom fans and you being the Venom expert, we've been talking about this game privately for the last like couple weeks now. So I'm super glad we were able to hop on here and talk about this game. Because again, while we have problems with it, it's just been such a fun time. And even like the right. build up to beforehand is so fun. And Correct. Yeah, it's just a great game. Everyone go out and go play it. And also, a small little plug, if you guys are interested in more Symbiote stuff, you can go check out our other episode, All About Symbiotes, where Gorgon schools us all about Symbiote lore, where they come from, what it means. And who knows, after you watch that, you might have a better understanding of what we're talking about and kind of how they dropped a... Uh, sort of drop the ball a little bit on this game but other than that that's all we're gonna have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you like this leave us a like and maybe consider subscribing because we have tons of other nerdy stuff that you can enjoy shout out to tony todd for killing it as the voice of venom by the way i love yes. the way that they, they trans started out with peter's voice and started mixing in tony's with it so eventually he took over and he was all of it that was genius that man should have been the voice of venom long ago i digress that's my final point for the afternoon we're so glad you guys were all here we look forward to having you on our next episode it's been wonderful <laughs>